Hello, financial fans. I made one trade during this past week. I bought UFO, waiting for all this space action to uh, start taking place, and maybe every time somebody mentions anything to do with uh, either UAPs or UFOs, or any uh, such uh, spacecraft, uh, maybe this UFO ETF. It's an ETF. It's also about UFOs. I bought uh, UFO for thirty dollars um, and uh, almost nineteen cents per share, and it is up since I bought it. I bought it on uh, June second, and it's gone up a tiny bit, uh, less than half a percent, but it's up. So I'll see what happens. Um, the reports so far between Congress and uh, the uh, FBI and uh, the Naval Intelligence and everyone who are supposed to be reporting about what the UFOs are and whether or not they're a threat and all that, all they've really said so far is uh, they're not sure what it is and they're not sure what it does and maybe it's from China, maybe it's from Russia, maybe it's uh, something left over from World War II and uh, they've not uh, really said anything but I think as long as they talk about uh, space and there's a lot of space uh, talk being bandied about and uh, maybe UFO or the ETF UFO will go up. Anyway, in the meantime, some stocks to consider. Stocks to consider. Let's take a look at Hewlett Packard. HPQ is the symbol. Closed on Friday for $30.63. And the 52-week range, uh, two-thirds of the way down the first column on the left, 52-week range, $15.55. Uh, to thirty-six dollars, so it uh, actually more than doubled uh, its price at some time during the past fifty-two weeks. And the volume, about ten million three hundred thousand shares trade on an average day. And this uh, chart from Yahoo considers uh, at the bottom of the column. They consider this to be near fair value, thirty dollars sixty-three cents. And in the middle column, third item down, P.E. ratio, 11. That's a very nice P.E. ratio. I like uh, when the stock gets uh, to where it's close to 10 for the P.E. ratio. The forward dividend and yield, a couple items down there in that middle column, the forward dividend and yield, 2.5%. And uh, the earnings per share, the EPS, uh, right under P.E. ratio EPS $2.78 which is very good for a stock priced at $30.63 and the one year target $33.03 which uh, is actually a nice move upwards if that uh, should happen. Next stock we look at Lockheed Martin, a defense issue. Lockheed Martin is symbol LMT. Made a big move up on Friday. And we uh, see the 52-week range in that uh, left-hand column more than halfway down. 52-week range, $319.81 to $417.62. So it's, uh, it has some headroom. It is um, closer to the high than it is to the low, but it has some headroom there. And uh, looks pretty good. Average volume, 1.5 million shares trade every day. They... Uh, uh, Yahoo, the experts consider this to be overvalued. The middle column PE ratio, third item down, 15.9, so about 16 is the PE ratio, which uh, is still better than most stocks in the uh, S&P 500 or the Dow 30 or whatever. The uh, forward dividend and yield, a little over halfway down in the middle column, 2.64, which is a nice uh, amount to be receiving while you're holding on to the stock. And the one-year target uh, down at the bottom of that uh, middle column, $427.72. So uh, 
So that would be a nice move upwards and we'll go to the next stock which is Mobile Telesystems Public Joint Stock Company, symbol MBT. The uh, 52-week range, $7.72 to $9.81, so it didn't move a great deal. And it's very close to its uh, high at $9.33 currently. The average volume on a re uh, average day's volume is three and a third million shares. And at the bottom of that column, we see that um, it is near fair value according to the uh, stock experts who uh, delve into that sort of thing. The uh, P.E. ratio, third item down the middle column, 9.99. So let's just say 10. I like that very much. And uh, we go down a little farther, we see the forward dividend and yield. 81 cents brings an over 8.5% dividend. And their earnings per share more than covers the 81 cents so they're they're not really hurting and uh, we look down at the bottom of that middle column one year target ten dollars ninety four cents uh, that's uh, a nice move upwards for uh, any stock and this is mainly a dividend stock but if it uh, reaches that uh, almost eleven dollar uh, range by the one year from now um, then it will also be a growth stock. Next stock we look at, Procter & Gamble, symbol PG, and the 52-week range, $113.76 to $146.92. It's now at $135.95. And the bottom of that uh, column on the left, overvalued. They consider this to be overvalued. That, it, that means that they assume it's going to be going down. P.E. ratio, 25, that is a high P.E. ratio, which I don't like particularly. Earnings, uh, earnings per share, $5.44. Uh, forward dividend and yield, 2.5%, uh, which is a good dividend to receive while you're holding on to the stock. And the one-year target is 147.94 which would be a good move upwards and it would make uh, holding on to the stock be a fine thing to do, it would be like a growth stock or you could just uh, uh, look at it as a dividend play because it is over two and a half percent. I thank you very much for watching.